Good morning, school. Not a very promising start. I hope each and every one of you makes the most of the year ahead. Remember, we don't have losers, failures, or misfits here. You fit in, and you'll be the better for it. May the Lord make us truly thankful. Amen. Oh, I'm Andrew. You must be Stephen. Um, come in. I'll introduce you to some of the others. Um, Tim Brick. This is Stephen. Would you like to sit down? Um, there's food and drink on the table, just help yourself. So, uh, what do you do, Stan? I'm still at school. John? Yeah? I've got an interesting question for you. Fire away. What would you say if I told you that I was gay? Surprised. I thought you might say that. How do you know? I've always known, but I really only admitted it to myself within the last six months. I would ask how it feels. I'm stupid. Well, don't worry, I'm not going to jump on you or anything. <laughs> I didn't think you would. It's just. Look. I'd rather that you didn't tell anyone. You know, because you're the first person that I've told. You know that 
knows me. Actually, I'm gay. You do realise you've chosen a very difficult path, don't you? I didn't choose it. How many people know? Only John. And I've been going to a gay youth group. I don't think you should tell too many people about this. I mean, it might just be a passing phase. It's common at your age to, to feel uncertain about your sexuality. I wouldn't have told you if I was uncertain. Look, there's a lot to think about here, Stephen. Many homosexuals, they lead lonely lives. There's a gay youth conference in Wellington, and I'm being sent as a representative. You want to go public? I want to go to the conference. You know, Stephen, by doing this, you're committing yourself. I, uh, I suppose this uh, conference will be publicised. I don't know. But this is really important to me, and I'm going... Hi, my name is Blair and I'd like to welcome you all to the New Zealand AIDS Foundation's 1990 Gay Youth Consultation. We're here to discuss issues around sex, sexuality, HIV and AIDS for young men who have sex with men. Now you're going to be busy, it's a full agenda, but there'll be plenty of time for you to have some fun as well. Yeah, some people have a shit out of time. But I mean, it's not always like that. Some people fall in love. Piss off and grow up. <laughs> this is it. This is where I'm staying. Witches back in the Middle Ages. They used sodomites as fuel. A human body. You mean to tell me you actually listen in history class? Or is this a private study? Class? Maybe if you shut up for once, you'd learn something. Me too, John. Okay, I'll also do my tongue lest I offend sensitive ears. Did I warn you about sharing my bed? Fine by me. James. Hello. I'm Stephen's mother, you know? Oh, um, nice meeting you, James. Bye. Stephen, got you 
letter this morning. Sorry to hear you've been having a rough time. Your school sounds like the real pits. No wonder you've been sick. I've been having a great time. I went to Wellington and met heaps of people. We raised all night and every night. I'm feeling a bit exhausted by it all. It's a shame we live in different cities. Maybe it was a mistake for us to get involved. I don't know. I feel quite confused. Anyway, we'll talk when you're feeling better. Be in touch soon. Ciao, James. Maybe it was a mistake for us to get involved. Yeah, hi. Uh, is, uh, is James home, please? No? Oh, okay. Could you just tell him that, um, that Stephen called? Yeah. Thank you. Parents received a letter from the school? Yes. About my work? They're concerned, Stephen. Then why don't you talk to me? Your parents pay your fees. They have a right to know how you're performing. Have they made an appointment? No, I, I said I'd speak to you myself. You've been taking too much time off school. And your work is suffering. I elected to return to the seventh form of my own free will. That does not make attendance optional. I want a written account of every day you're absent. I have good reasons. Then your parents will have no problem writing notes. I expect to see a B plus average on your next report. That's all, Stephen. be just like everybody else. Nothing's permanent. Some things are. Like what? Just some things. Like what? Ah, that's all. Well, if you tell me, I could help you, couldn't I? Tell me. I'm 
I'm gay. You're what? I'm gay. You're what? I'm gay. I love men. I've got to go for a walk. I need some air. As you are aware, the school ball is coming up on the 18th. You can bring a partner. In fact, we encourage it. Who you bring is up to you. But it cannot be a boy. <laughs> and a smile. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> Careful what I say around here, everybody's so sensitive. Isn't that right, Stephen? Touchy, even. Good girls. Didn't you know the best ones are either married or... Excuse me, I think I'll get a drink. you really want to finish the year at school. But it may not be worth it. Ruining your health. You heard what the doctor said. You do know that your father and I will support you if you want to leave school. I'll leave your soup and you can have it later. I will not accept you leaving school, Stephen. You're a class A bursary student. This school has invested a lot of time and energy in your education. You owe it to the school, you owe it to your parents, and you owe it to yourself to complete this year and get that bursary. I'm not passing. I don't see any point in staying. You're capable, Stephen. All you need is to work harder and attend classes. I have good reasons for my absence. General ill health, according to your parents' notes. Personal reasons that affect my schoolwork. You have got the wrong attitude, Stephen. I've handed in my textbooks and I'm leaving. All I want is my reference. Why on earth should I give you a reference? Because I'm entitled to one. All right. Throw away your life. Disappoint your family. My family understands my decision. Well, I certainly don't. 
When can I get my reference? Thursday, from my secretary. Goodbye. just seen was based on a year in my life. I'm glad I came out as I did through the gay youth groups as it gave me a chance to meet people in a manner I would never have been able to in the bars and clubs. I've come a long way since then. I'm now involved in running some of the gay youth services here in Auckland. Despite this, I don't think you've ever stopped coming out. With every new situation, there will always be the decision of whether or not to come out. My attitude has changed now. Being gay is no longer the central fact of my life. It's just one of the many components that makes me the person that I am.